Kingdom Pattern Preserving Your Shield of Faith Ephesians 6 verse 16 Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Our faith protects us from the immoral, violent, and godless influences of this corrupt world system ruled by Satan. As we know, we are presently living in the last days, and our faith will be under constant test. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. In view of this, we are expected to constantly inspect our shield of faith, to make sure that it is strong. Faithfully inspect your shield of faith. Soldiers in ancient time made sure that their shields were repaired after a battle. The shields were often covered with leather, in order to maintain the shield, these soldiers oiled the shields to preserve the leather and at the same time to keep the metal parts free from rust. For any damaged shield, the soldier will make sure that it was repaired so that he was always ready for the next battle. Reasons to inspect your shield of faith We all needs to regularly inspect and maintain our shield of faith, in order for us to be always prepared for battle that is constantly present. As Christians, we do not wage battle against flesh and blood, but our battle is a spiritual battle, and our enemies are Satan and his wicked spirits. Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 12 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. When you carefully examine your shield of faith, you might be surprised to discover weaknesses that have gone unnoticed for some time. For instance, you may notice that needless anxiety, lies, and discouragement have caused damage to your shield of faith. Then you need to protect your faith from further harm. How do you inspect your shield of faith? Every one of us as Christians are expected to maintain our shield of faith by ourselves. Nobody can maintain your shield of faith for you. You must be ready to face tests. You need to regularly use God's word to see yourself as God sees you. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. For example, if you are moving to a new city, or you are entering a new phase in your life, God promised in Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, that he will never leave you or forsake you. If indeed this promises in that scripture make you to be confident that God would help you. Then, that shows that you are keeping your shield of faith in good condition. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. How to react to lies. People who are under the control of Satan, spread lies about God and about children of God. Those lies are among the fiery darts of Satan. John 8 verse 44. You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. Ephesians 6 verse 16 Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. How we should react to such lies is to reject them immediately. Have faith in God and his word. Do not allow yourself to be drawn by anyone into arguments with them. 2 Timothy 2 verse 14 Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words, it is of no value, and only ruins those who listen. Effects of Discouragement Whenever we are discouraged, it can weaken our faith. Though we may have personal problems, we should not allow those problems to dominate our thinking. If we allow that to happen, we might lose sight of the wonderful hope that God has given to us. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? 
Be strong and of good courage, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Safeguard yourself from materialism. Materialism is a tendency to consider material possessions and physical comfort, as more important than spiritual values. When we engross ourselves with materialism, it can cause us to become distracted and neglect our shield of faith. 2 Timothy 2-4 No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. As soldiers of Christ, we should not be distracted from our primary goal of gaining the approval of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. That is what is more valuable than acquiring anything Satan and the world has to offer. Therefore, we should trust God and keep our shield of faith and all of our spiritual armor in good condition. Keep a hard hold on your shield of faith. You can keep a solid hold on your shield of faith, by faithfully and prayerfully reading God's word daily, and applying its principle and direction in all that you do. We also do that when we do not forsake the assembling of ourselves, because the Lord desires it, and we also sharpen and encourage one another thereby. Hebrews 10 verse 23 to 25 Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. When we hold firm our shield of faith, it will protect us. We will stand firm, and no weapon that Satan uses against us will be able to cause us harm, and by God's grace on us, we will win the war against Satan and his followers. Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 to 5 The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from evil ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.